This is an exciting new feature that makes it quite easy to turn 3D models into laser cut paths. Um, go to the latest version of uh, Kirimoto, you'll notice a new mode menu, FDM, 3D printing, uh, switch to laser. Here, you'll notice that the right-hand menu simplifies significantly. Um, really, we're focusing on two things. One is the laser path offset from the object because you're cutting material, which is here. Uh, it's default, so a millimeter. And the layer height, uh, how you want to cut this object. Uh, zero uh, determines, um, it uses the Z offsets um, to automatically determine where transitions occur. So just try it with zero first. And you go to slice. And there you'll see um, there you'll see the layers that it detected um, for slicing. Now, a little bit different from the 3D printing, if you look at this in single layer mode, the yellow outline is the outline of the object, the black outline is the cut line. This is inverted from when you do 3D printing because in 3D printing you're obviously printing inside the line to fill to the object edges. So once you've got the object the way that you want it, um, you can go to preview and it will create a flat layout, tiled layout of all the different layers. And once you like what you got there, you can just go to export and you have the ability to get it as SVG or DXF. So a couple of uh, things that might be important to you. Uh, SVG is the easiest to debug. When you download that, you can uh, load it right into your browser. Um, over here on the output, origin center is going to set zero right in the middle. Uh, that may be what you desire, may not. You can uncheck that and the origin will move to the bottom left hand corner of the area of the tiles. You can also invert the X and the Y. And that is, that is it. Hope you enjoy.